Coach Bryant told me to keep doing it. Nobody's told me to stop. But they say you got to have something to do, something to look forward to, and that, that kind of fills the bill for me. He's an Alabama legend, 90 years young, married to his beloved wife Peggy for 70 years. And in a matter of weeks, Eddie Conyers will begin his 56th year of officiating Alabama football practices. Coach Bryant may have been the first one to, his, his rationale was if we have penalties, let's get him a practice field rather than the ball game. So he thought if we had an official, that would help in that way. The year was 1962. Eddie was 34, and he found himself taking directions from Coach Bryant. I went up to him and I said, Coach, what is it you want me to do? I, I didn't know what to do. I had my uniform. And he said, don't you go watching on that bug. I don't know what he said. But I just <laughs> I said, I said what you would say. I said, yes, sir. <laughs> he said, practice would be $10. And Rick, I swear, I thought he meant I had to pay $10. <laughs> <You> really? <laughs> I'm thinking, I got, I got $5, can I work half the price? Fast forward 35 years, when Nick Saban walked onto the practice fields. We were standing there, he comes out. We thought he might come up, hello, I'm Coach Saban, glad to meet appreciate y'all being here. Huh? He said, here's the way it's to be done. If you have a penalty, I want to know who it's on, I won't know what the penalty is, I won't know what suggestions you might have, I won't know what drill was going on, I want that accumulated and turned into me at the end of practice, doom, he's gone. Here's the big question, the, the tougher coach during practice, Coach Bryant or Coach Saban? When Coach Bryant was there, you could practice as long as you wanted to. You, you had no time limits on it. And then one time, we all think he went to sleep up there. <laughs> I remember dude Hennessy said, he thought he said we'll be here forever. <laughs> Nobody's gonna wake him up. But Coach Saban's time is limited, and and it, believe me, every minute of that time is figured out. No wasted time at all, for, at all. And the speed of practice too, right? I think he loves it too. I think that's what really separates him from a lot of his contemporaries, as he loves every aspect of it. And Coach Saban has given you some advice on what kind of official you are, right? He's given me advice, but it wasn't funny. <laughs> I think it was Bob killing myself or something. <laughs> no, no. He gets on me all the time, and he says, you never call a penalty on the offense. You always call a penalty on the defense. Every day, just about, he gets, he calls me a double agent. He says, you, you don't ever call a penalty on the offense. And I remember one day I told him, I said, yes, I do, Coach. I think it was September the 18th, 1973, I called one. He looked at me like, we're called a fool. <laughs> he says I'm adequate, <laughs> I think that I was the second best in the world. Everybody else was tied for first. <laughs> when the Crimson Tide run onto the field this fall, Eddie Conyers' efforts will be present, but he won't be. If Peggy will go to her cousin's box and leave me here, and I'll have about four coal ones somewhere stashed away, and I can get to by myself I'm just too into it. I'm not really a good person to watch a game with. And when the season comes to an end next January, Eddie and Peggy will celebrate their wedding anniversary 71 years after being married. Peggy was a major at Tuscaloosa High School. And I just went over to watch him practice, and she saw me and recognized a good thing. <laughs> you don't what's, the, what's the ride been like for you? It's been fun. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. It's just, just been nice. It was always fun. And oh, it's been a ride. It's been a ride. And he's, you're married to a celebrity, too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't when we married. I was. <laughs> <laughs> you just didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs>